Welcome back to Emmy's Corner. Thank you so much for always watching and supporting. The Bible says that life and death are in the power of the tongue. If you were putting in a lot of effort in prayers, but you were getting little results or no result at all, it means that something is wrong with your approach. It is not an issue of prayerlessness, but it's an issue of praying amiss. You need to see results even as you're praying. In this video, I'll be telling you what to do for your prayers to get results and manifest physically. Please, keep watching and don't skip the adverts, thank you so much. Dear, what's going on? You're lost in thought. I am tired of everything. Nothing seems to be working for us. It's getting to one year since I lost my job, and I've prayed enough, yet I'm not seeing any result. We are financially unstable and then, your health issue. We can't have children if your fibroid is not removed. It's tiring honestly, we are not getting any younger. I feel defeated and I don't know what to do anymore. Oh dear. Stop worrying so much, everything will align for our good at the right time. You've been saying this over and over. My question is when? Nothing has changed and time isn't on our side anymore. I'm not getting any younger. We just keep hoping, and just like that, a year is gone. I can't continue like this, I'm losing it already. Don't be like that my husband. Maybe we should talk to Pastor to put us in prayers, even as we continue praying. I won't. If God cannot hear me, then so be it. Where are you going to? Church. Today is Sunday, aren't you coming? No. I've told you that I am tired. I pray but I don't see results, no manifestation of what I prayed for. I'm really discouraged. Who knows what will happen? when you stop praying totally. Prayer is a lifestyle and when we pray, we stop a lot of evil from happening. I don't want you to be discouraged, let's keep pushing. All right. I have heard you. Goodbye and please, pray for me. All right then. See you when I'm back. I welcome everyone to church this morning. Today, I'll be preaching on prayers. How you can pray with authority so that you can receive answers to your prayers. Let's open our Bible to Mark 11 verse 23 to 25. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Most believers do not understand the power of prayer. Prayer is giving God the legal right to intervene in your case. You're hosting God in your atmosphere, and whenever you're praying, you're creating some nothings in the realm of the Spirit and that's why for your prayer to manifest, you must not pray in the flesh. If you're worried while praying, then you're praying in the flesh. If you're making phone calls, receiving calls, sending text messages while praying, you're simply praying in the flesh. That's why you must tell God today, I don't want to pray from the flesh, I don't want to pray from my emotions but I want to pray in the Spirit. You must come boldly to the throne of grace and simply believe that God has already heard you. If you're connected in the Spirit while praying, you'll surely have an encounter that will change your life. Jude 1 verse 20 But ye, beloved building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, when we pray in the Holy Ghost, we pray with power and we build up our spirit man. It builds up our faith and the Holy Spirit will help us to pray according to the will of God. When we pray according to the will of God, that's when our answers manifest physically and we see answers to our prayers. If you cannot pray in tongues, pray today and ask God to baptize you with tongues of fire. That when we speak in tongues, demons will tremble. Romans 8.36 Likewise the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself makes intercession for us with groaning which cannot be uttered. When we pray in tongues, we receive fire, we carry fire and we become alive in the Spirit realm, thereby manifesting our answers physically. 
Now, how do you pray according to God's will? You pray the word of God. There's a reason why praying the scriptures work. There's a reason why there's power added when we speak what we see written in the word of God. When we pray the word, we are praying God's will. When the scriptures are spoken, you're speaking in alignment with God's will. When you're aligned with God's will, you'll be able to pray with authority and that's why Jesus tells us to pray in his name. Your approach might just be the reason why your prayers are not manifesting. If you're putting in a lot of effort, but getting little results, then consider your ways. In Luke 18 verse 1, Jesus spake a parable that men ought always to pray, and not to faint. Check yourself today, are you praying the right way? Are you still living in sin? God does not hear the prayer of a sinner. He says in Proverbs 15 verse 29, The Lord is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. If you're still living in sin, your prayers cannot manifest physically. Confess your sins to God today and ask for mercy. God bless you. Welcome home. Don't tell me you were still thinking. You should have been in church today. I regret not going to church with you. The message that pastor preached today was for us. We've been praying the wrong way all this while. I've taken note of everything the pastor said today and I'll apply it. I hope our answers will manifest soon in Jesus' name. Amen. We will be praying for one week. We must not pray in the flesh, but in the spirit. We must pray according to the will of God and let's see if they'll be changes. Remember, you must believe that God will answer us. He said knock and it shall be opened unto you, seek and ye shall find. I hope so. I'll join you to pray since you're confident. You must also be confident while praying. 2 John 5 verse 14 says, And this is confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. I have heard you. I want to go and see an old schoolmate now. He came in from Alberta and is lodging at King's Hotel. I'll soon be back. All right, dear. My regards to your friend. Hi, Frederick. It's so good to see you. Good to see you too, brother. How have you been? Please, come in. I'm fine, my brother. In everything I give thanks to God. That reply doesn't sound good. Tell me, is there any problem? Forget about me though. God doesn't want to answer my prayers. I'm so happy for you, just look at you. Today, you're in Paris. Next week, you're in Singapore. You're traveling around the world on business trips. God has been so good to you. We bless God. Now, tell me. What do you mean by God has not been answering your prayers? Are you not getting the results to your prayers? Yes, brother. Nothing seems to be working for me. Do you know that I've been jobless for a year? I have applied to so many companies but nothing is coming. My wife has a serious health issue that might not allow her to conceive. Have you prayed about it? Trust me, I have. I'm even discouraged right now because it doesn't seem to work. My answers are not manifesting at all. You shouldn't be discouraged. Hold on to your faith. Hold on to your expected answer. Don't stop praying for there's nothing prayer cannot change. Do not be discouraged, only believe. Be confident in your answers and your expectations shall not be cut off. God commanded us in Luke 18 verse 1, to pray. There's something prayer does even to the hardened situation. It changes impossibilities. If you want to get results to your prayers, you have to be consistent. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 17 says that we should pray without ceasing. If you're consistent in praying and you still do not get the results, then know that God may be delaying you. The reason why God may delay your answers could be because he has something better for you or he has seen danger ahead. My wife said something like this when she came back from church. Listen, for your prayers to work, you must approach prayer like a legal system in the realm of the spirit. Don't just say, God I am tired, won't you bless me? God, change my situation. What is it based on? 
Isaiah 41 verse 21 says produce your cause, saith the Lord. Bring forth your strong reasons, saith the King of Jacob. That means bring my word to me. If you tell God, I'm tired of this situation, you just reported your situation to God, but you didn't pray. When Satan came to tempt Jesus, he said it is written. What is written in the word of God is what gives strength to your prayers. You connect what you want and what is wrong to what God has said. Now, that is prayer. Once you use the word of God to make decrees, it will be registered in the realm of the spirit and that's how you'll be victorious during attacks. The prayer that works is the prayer that is connected to the scripture. The prayer that works is the prayer that's derived from the spirit. If you invest quality consistent time in prayer, you'll be sure to pray in the spirit. So next time that you want to pray, find out what God has said in his word that relates to what you want, now you can go to the place of prayer with understanding. You need to be confident and ask according to his will. There's also a possibility that you will not be hurt if it's not according to God's will. Instead of questioning God, you tell him, Father, let your perfect will be done in my life. Oh wow. Thank you for explaining this to me. I now understand how to pray and get results. You're welcome. What can I order for you? Anything soft will be fine. Father, we return all glory unto you for your king. You are the God of heaven and the earth. You're the way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper. That's who you are. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the battles you've won on our behalf. Receive all glory, honor and adoration. I come to your throne of mercy and ask for forgiveness of sin, have mercy upon us today. Forgive my unbelief and help me not to lean on my own understanding, but to put my trust in you. Father, your word declares that life and death has been set before me, blessings and curses, that I have power to choose life. In honor of your word, I choose life, I shall live and not die. It is written in your word that though my beginning was small, my latter end will increase. In the name of Jesus, I pray for increase. I place a demand on the grace that makes for advancement and increase. You powers of financial dryness and frustration, waging war against the work of my hands, surrender now by fire. According to the word of God in Galatians 3.13, any curse of poverty traceable to my lineage, Christ has redeemed me, break by fire. It is written in Job 22 verse 28, that I shall decree a thing and it shall be established. I decree and call forth helpers and partners on progress that will recommend me for a job, business, contract and career advancement in Jesus' name. Amen. Every stranger, everything that does not represent Jesus in my body, hear ye the word of the Lord, fade away by fire. Father, your word in Psalm 18 verse 44 says, As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away, and be afraid out of their closed places. Every stranger in my body, I don't care what you're called, according to the word of God, I command you to submit yourself now and fade away. For my body is the temple of the living God, therefore sickness has no place in this body. You fibroid, I command you to fade away out of your closed places. Every evil projection and gang up of the devil waiting to manifest in my life, according to the word of God in Isaiah 7, 7, it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. I terminate every evil seed in my body, I terminate every evil projection. I abort every evil plan and I command everything not planted by God in my life to be rooted out. For it is written in Matthew 15 verse 13, Every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted, shall be rooted out. I root out every sickness out of my body in Jesus' name, Amen. Powers that multiplies affliction in my life, be destroyed by fire. Any power moving me from one sickness to another, I command that power to quench. You fibroid, I command you to disappear and turn to fine babies. According to the word of God in Ezekiel 21 verse 27, I overturn, overturn and overturn every sickness in my body and by the stripes of Jesus Christ, I am healed. 
according to the word of God in Isaiah 53 verse 5, by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. I am far from oppression and for my shame, God shall give me double in Jesus' name, Amen. My Father, my Maker, as I begin to pray, I cancel any evil decree meant to stagnate my life. I declare the word of God in Deuteronomy 8 verse 18 over my life, power for wealth creation and supernatural blessings, overtake the labor of my hands today. According to your word in Isaiah 60 verse 1, this is my glory season. O Lord, saturate me with the aroma of favor, preference and acceptance. Let the favor of the Lord come upon me. My Father, my Maker, every gang up and conspiracy of spiritual and physical agents to deny me of securing a job, you have failed. According to the word of God in Isaiah 54 verse 15, scatter and fall for my sake. Father, satisfy my life with your favor and move men to favor me. Thank you Lord, for the blessings of your favor. Thank you for answered prayers in Jesus name we pray. Amen. Madam, this is a surprise. Since you complained of headache and fever, I took your blood to test for malaria but guess what? You were pregnant. How did this happen? What? This is a miracle. Thank you Jesus. We'll need to take a scan. This is really a miracle. What did the doctor say? Is it malaria? No. Guess what? Is it a good news or bad news? Be positive for, it's a good news. I also have a good news to share. You should go first. I am pregnant. The doctor did a scan and it's really a baby. What? Indeed God is faithful. Frederick recommended me for a job and I got the job. I'm so happy. Let me park this car first. God has given us double for our troubles. We are grateful to you, Lord. Hi everyone, I want to appreciate you for the support so far. Thank you so much for watching this video and to everyone supporting through Super Thanks, thank you and God bless everyone. Please, remember to give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, share this video, hit the notification bell for more life-changing videos and subscribe to this channel. May the Lord grant all your heart desires and may God touch you even as you've watched this video. Stay blessed.